again, folks. <laughs> Hiya, Duck. So we're back with some newness. We like newness. I mean, we all like something that's new. And we've got a new product. And I'm going to use it today. I'm really excited. And yes, it is ink. And I'm going to show you how to create a marble effect using the inks and metallic. Oh, it's going to be gorgeous, Duck. So today, I would like to introduce you to the Aliana finger. Finger thumb. It's a thumb, but it looks like a finger. It, it does look, you can't quite tell which one it is. Yeah, it's 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 beautiful. I have battered it a little bit. Um, top tip if you've got Aliana stuff is to not file the product while it's actually in the thumb, because you just batter it. But anyway, we're going to use base coat. So I've already removed the surface shine from this tip. So imagine, if you will, imagine in your brain that this is a natural nail or a nail extension. We are still going to put on the base coat. Super thin. Look how much I splay the brush. We need a t-shirt that says splay the brush. Splay the brush. On the list. Splay the brush. Splay we could literally do like a whole t-shirt range of just Kirstyisms. Yeah, Kirstyisms, all the things I say, all the weird and wonderful. And then everybody will be fluent in Kirsty speak. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we've got base coat on. That's me trying to do Adam's accent. Is that what I sound like? Something like that. Right, so, right, oh, uh, right. I, I don't come to work for this abuse. You know? <laughs> Yes, but I hope you do come for the boost because I love it. I'll be always hanging out. Right, we're going to use um, bottom. No, not bottom. Oh, well, it's called booty call. Bottom, bottom call. Bottom call. Booty call. So we're going to apply this nice and thin because we're going to do some layering. Super thin. Can you see how much I'm splaying the brush? If you don't know what splaying is, it means fanning the brush. And that's what we're doing. Fanning the brush, we're going to go in the lamp. Give it a cure. Next colour we're going to use is, it's all about the bottoms today. Bottoms up, booty call. We've got booty call and bottoms up, do you know what I mean? It's all about the booty. <laughs> it's all about the bunda. So it has glitter and mylar running through it. Oh, love, 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 love. And we're going to apply this super thin as well because we don't want to create bulk. And we want a little bit of transparency for our first sort of colour layer. Okay, in the lamp we go. Bish, bash, bosh. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the surface um, sticky layer. Awesome. And then we're going to use the marble ink in pearl. Give it a shake. This is one of those where you need to shake the bottle to wait the drink. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. Shake the bottle to wait the drink. Are you kidding me? It's off an advert. What advert? It's um, it's um. Oh my god, the orange juice, orangina. Orangina. Yeah. Is that what they used to say? Shake sing? the bottle to wait the drink. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember that slogan. We shake inks, and they've got little um little balls inside. A little. I was joking with Haley. I don't yesterday. know what it is. What ball is it? It's a ball bearing. A ball bearing. That's I was the joking ball. with Haley yesterday when we were filling some of these in. Yeah. I accidentally put two in some. Yeah. We should put a competition. <laughs> if you get can two, if you can find the one with two, two in. If you get two in yours, you get something special. Because <laughs> every now and again, I just sort of accident. You two. get something special. Another ball. <laughs> <laughs> Another ball wearing. <laughs> Woo! So he shakes the ink up into the fluid and everything like that. Um, and you'll notice, I mean, look at the bottle. I'm sorry, but, oh, girl, it's so beautiful. And you're gonna need acetone for this as well. So we're gonna take some acetone. I've noticed on our bottle of acetone, there's, uh, there's a little fruit on it. There is a little fruit on it. There's a little, what is that? It is a, uh, a little, 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 a
and a cucumber. Well, it's not fruit. It is a, no, it is a fruit cucumber. It is still a it's fruit. It's a cucumber and a aloe, 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 aloe vera. It is really nice. Because it has a scent of aloe vera and cucumber. Don't be mixing any vodka with it, Jock. It's not for drinking. <laughs> However, that does sound quite a nice drink. Aloe vera and cucumber with a bit of vodka. I used to have to drink aloe vera for me. You psoriasis. Like, somebody said, buy this wondered thing and it'll get rid of your psoriasis. Did it, did it shite. But, and it was disgusting to drink. Really? Like it was slimy and sort of... Oh, it is a very slimy thing. Don't worry, the acetone is not slimy. No, that's not. But this <laughs> yeah. aloe that the, this person gave me, it was... Just put you off then. Yeah, definitely. So, going to take your ink. Make sure you don't knock the bottle over because it is very fluid-like. And I'm just going to do sort of two little bits here. I'm going to do a little bit of layering. I'm going to move that out of the way because I will knock it over. And we've got a Adam 3D brush dampened with acetone and I'm just going to pull this through just to pull some lines through because I just want a little bit of fine lines at the moment I don't want a lot on there and then I'm just going to come this way just drop 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 same again so the liquid evaporates and leaves the pigment on the essence. Yes. Yes. I know that because it's on my fingers. <laughs> so we've got some of those lines coming in already. Okay. Next step is we are going to go on with Booty Call and Bottoms Up. So I've got a bit of booty call there, and then we're going to have a little bit of bottoms up. Ah, oh, because it's transparent. Yeah. It's through, right? Yes, it still shows it, so we get a bit of depth with this. It's important to keep them quite thin. Yeah. We're going to cure that layer. Then we're going to use the matte top coat. And you'll notice a difference between putting the pigment onto a shiny surface or putting the pigment onto a matte surface. So we're gonna matte that, pop it in the lamp. So in our um, metallic ink slash ink collection, you have a black, a white, you have a silver, you have a gold, you have a copper and a bronze. Oh, they're gorgeous. So we've got a matte nail now. And I'm gonna do a bit of white here, a bit of white here, a bit of white here. I'm just going to use the acetone to move it around. You'll find that the ink will stick to a matte top coat better than a shiny top coat. A little bit here. A little bit here. I love that. I love it. It air dries. It doesn't need to go into the lamp. It adds no thickness to the nail, which is amazing. And I love this white because I've tested quite a few inks and tried other ones from other brands and the white always seems like it's a bit bitty and like acrylic paint that's, or like a watercolour paint that's gone like dry and bitty. Mm -hmm. I find it really hard to work with. Whereas obviously we've got a great formula here that works really easily. Right, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go in with glossy. 
top coat. So this is our glossy top coat, it has no sticky layer. Pop that in. We want this kind of rose quartz kind of look. Then we're going to use from the metallic ink, Tin Man. Oh, oh, I love the Wizard of Oz. I love, I love, I love that. Oh, I've got hang on there, hang on. Oh, shake it up. Oh, it's so satisfying. So when you get your ink and it's been sat on the shelf, it'll look like that. This one is called Copper Top. But are you going to watch this? Give it a shake. Oh, look at that. It's stunning. And that's like the same with, so this one is Brass Knobs. Gorgeous. You wake them up by shaking them. And then this one is Goldilocks. But we're going to use Tin Man. So what a bit of silver. So the metallics work best on a shiny top coat. So our glossy top coat, they work great on. If you're doing it on a matte, it'll really grab and you're not going to get that high shine from the metallic, if that makes sense. So we're going to add some silver into the sections. I'm going to use the same brush and then I'm just going to like tease it out. So I make contact and then I'm just dragging any excess out. This one I want to like open up the middle so it's empty in the middle and drag that out. I'm going to add a little bit more than there. Bring that down. Add a tiny bit more and you don't need a massive amount. You're best letting it dry first before you start to move it around else your brush will just soak up the wet ink, if that makes sense. Gives it like a mirror effect. Mm. I actually watched a video this morning was it might have been last night, I can't remember. Um, which was about how they used to make mirrors in um, like Victorian times and stuff. Mm. Before. When you were young. When I was young. <laughs> and you were already a teenager by then. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but it, um, it was some kind of night, some silver nitrate or something. Oh, right, yeah. Formaldehyde. Yeah, well, in formaldehyde, like, um, like, like you wash with them to preserve yourself. No, in formaldehyde, like, a uh, cancerous, like, carcinogenic. Probably, yeah, I don't know, but this was back then when they used to put lead makeup on. Oh dear, yeah, you know, that's um, not good. Arsenic makeup. Mm. <clears throat> but no, it, um, it was funny because it was this solution and they just had a piece of glass <coughs> and they poured it onto the glass. And it like self-leveled like ridiculously well. Mm. Um, and it didn't even spill over the edges. <coughs> it was really weird. But then it evaporates off the formaldehyde and it leaves and the silk nitrate, but it leaves the silver in on. Well that's how they do um chrome on cars and stuff and on machinery. And do you know why I know this? Because one of my clients <laughs> owns a business doing that. So I was saying to her, so what, so how did they do that? How did they get that chrome finish and all that, you know? And she said it was to do with the formaldehyde. And I was like, but that's like a carcinogenic, I swear it is. Um, and she was saying, yeah, the same thing. Right. Yeah. Oh, interesting. It was dead, what, fun to watch. Mm. 
You do watch some boring shit. You do. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting if you're interested in it. Yes. Yeah. Very true. Right, we're going to top coat this now. So we are going to use the glossy top coat and we're just going to glide this over. So you kind of want to float it over. In. Right, let's pop that in the lamp. So there we are, that's with the silver on. Cool. It's so cool, isn't it? Uh, and you've got the depth from the ink, and it's not thick, it's not a thick nail. It's not like chunked out with mm. a load of gel polish. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's not a big thick nail. It's a well, gorgeous. You can see the depth in it as well because of yeah. the layers. Yeah. But the thin layers. You mean you can see that the silver is on top of the white. Yeah. It's underneath it. Yeah. It looks cool. Mm. And you could even put the silver underneath the colour if you wanted to, you know, um, to create even more depth. But I think it looks nice on top because you can see the, the real chromeness of the. Tin Man metallic ink. So what we'll do is we'll show you the other chromes in some other designs and yeah, we'll get cracking with those. But everything I've used today will be listed below. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all of that shebang. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. ta -da! When my godchildren come, I go, Hello, my children, my children, come in, my children. <laughs> and they open the door and they just piss themselves laughing every time. Like I'm some wicked witch, like inviting them in. Come in. Come in. <laughs> <laughs>